Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Karina and this is my channel, Oh Mother. Um, I have been cleaning out my makeup because we are getting ready to move and um, I have a couple of drawers full of makeup because, you know, it's a hobby and, and other products. But as I was going through it and I was going through stuff that I wasn't wearing and things that I, I had held on to and I was wondering why, why have I held on to this? So I just thought I'd show you some products that really disappointed me and that I just, some of them I just do not understand. So, um, first let's start with some disappointing hair products. I bought this uh, Bedhead Superstar Queen for a Day Thickening Spray. It's designed, I think, so that you can really spray it like into your roots before you blow dry and get a real nice big hair. It just made me greasy every time. I couldn't use it. Another Bedhead product, nothing against Bedhead because I actually like some, <laughs> a lot of their products. This is the Sugar Dust and it's supposed to give you that big kind of sticky hair, you know, give you all that volume and grit in your roots and um, it does, but it just makes it sticky. It actually is sugar, it's actually sweet and it's a disaster. <laughs> it makes your hair a disaster. It, there's no second day hair on that one. Um, another disappointing some disappointing products I have is this Real Techniques brush, which basically fell apart after I immediately after I got it. I don't even know why I never returned it. It was, but even as a brush, it was terrible. It's really just the quality is just not there. I was really disappointed because I'm a huge fan of the Real Techniques brushes. It was basically just no good for anything but the garbage. I'm staying on brushes. I am a massive fan of Elf brushes, but it is either really good or really crap. It seems like there's no middle ground. These are two that are just don't work for me and I know that a lot of people on YouTube are great fans of this one and I am too as a um, if you can get it to work. The problem is I cannot get them clean. They never sort of come clean for me. Um, they just, it's, there's a greasy residue <laughs> that never goes away. And the same thing happened with this little eyeshadow C brush. Um, just could never get it clean. It just sort of, sort of never became a fluffy brush again. Oh, look, stuff's coming off. Yeah, never became a fluffy brush again, which is funny because this one's $3 and the one that's the white for a dollar, I can get that one clean and it's the same shape and it does just as well. But this one's a disappointment. And the first one I had of this, fell apart like in a minute. So yeah, it's kind of disappointing. I do however love the Real Technique stippling brush. So, um, and then we have, let's move on to some face stuff. Um, some Physicians Formula, which is for me, it's either I love it or I hate it. It works or it does it. And from, you know, I bought the BB stuff last summer um, and I wish I'd paid more attention to reviews because Oh my gosh, this stuff just gummed up on me. It just was not, it was just a very disappointing powder that just um, sat on your skin. And even though, you know, you put it on, you think you look lovely. Oh no, you don't. It didn't work. It didn't work for me, for me. I also had the um, concealer, which caked up on me like no man's business. Um, another concealer that I bought because I thought, oh yeah, this is great for contour, is the uh, L'Oreal True Match in, what is it? It's the darkest one. It's the N678. Anyway, it's basically the darkest one. I thought, oh yeah, I can draw on, you know, um, contour and sort of blend it in and it would all look natural and like skin. For some reason on my skin, this just turns orange and it did not work. Then I've got, oh, some, you know, I have to say, I loved um, these Maybelline color tattoos, but they have, every time they have dried out on me and it just takes me off because they become unusable. I've tried to mix them up. I've, I've watched the videos. I've tried to do different things with them, but yeah, they just have dried up. And even if I mix them up and I think I get them wet again, you put them on and I just don't feel like they're they're good. Sticking with Maybelline, I did have this um, Expert Wear eyeshadow in Natural Smokes. 
I got no payoff whatsoever with this. I just could not use this on my actual eyes. And the colors are great. Like they look really, really good. But holy moly, once they were on your eyes, they melted into one big smoosh of brown and then they disappear. I mean, it was just really hard to use. This was a similar situation with this Almé. Yeah, I'm losing something. Um, intense eye color. This one's for hazel eyes. I don't have hazel eyes, I have gray, but it's kind of gray colors. First of all, this was like a glitter disco ball. Um, they all were actually very glittery. And they, this is them right here. Yeah, they just, oh, I just hated the way they wore. I couldn't, I couldn't wear them, so I dumped them. An eyeliner that just doesn't work for me is the Stila, which, uh, it's a smudge proof, waterproof eyeliner. Um, I have it in brown. And first of all, it broke on me. Like every time I, you know, it's a twist up formula. Every time I tried to use it, it would break. It was very, very soft. And while it, it does set, it would make my eyes water. I would just end up having my eyes water and look really bloody awful. Another one that um, really, really popular lip product is the NYX or the NYX uh, butter glasses. I have Eclair and Tiramisu. These are really lovely. They smell delicious. They smell delicious. Um, and the colors are cool, but I just found them really gloopy and uncomfortable to wear. They'd be gone in no time. So they didn't really do a whole lot for me. Another very disappointing um, lip gloss or lipstick, or this is the Lippy by Butter London. And this is in the, um, oh, Yummy Mummy. Okay, this just, well, the color probably wasn't the best choice. It's, kind of, it's really brown. You know, I thought it'd be kind of a champagne-y kind of glitter, but it's, it's brown. It's so thick on your lips that you just feel like, um, yeah, hard to wear. Just really uncomfortable and hard to wear. Um, oh, this is something I just got recently. This is by The Lip Bar. It just came in a beauty box in my um, BoxyCharm. Look at this, it comes in a beautiful velvet box. Look at this packaging, it is so pretty, so pretty. It's sort of like a clear packaging, I don't know, it's just so pretty with a lip, lip bar. The color, I thought, oh, you know what, it's not too bad, it's in the color Kiss Me. Maybe it's because I'm of a different generation, but I wanna look enhanced, but yet still natural. I don't want to look like I have a mask on my face or on my lips, and this, sat there my husband was like what the heck are you wearing and it wasn't just the color it was the texture the whole thing so that was really disappointing because supposedly that's a twenty dollar lipstick this is something else i got at a in a beauty box and it's kaylin art touch tinted lips lip gloss in basic instinct and all is well with the world it looks beautiful but you put it on and it's this really pretty color and it looks lovely on then you go and look in the mirror half an hour later and you have this weird looking pink lip. It's got one of those stains that is intuitive, I think, to your, um, your body chemistry. And my body chemistry gives off the weirdest color. The same thing happened with the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains. Oh my, same thing. I put on a cute color, think all was well with the world. Half hour later, I'd catch my reflection in something and be like, oh my gosh, you look ridiculous. Uh, where are we? We're almost done. Um, Smashbox. So this is lip gloss in pout. And I used to have this back in the day. And it was a completely different color. Now, it used to be sort of that baby pink. This one that I got in a sampler from Sephora at Christmas. I think it was Christmas time came out white but it has no glitter or anything in it it is simply white cream colored like i put some lotion on my lips it sort of streaks and sits there it's just oh it's such a disappointment there's no no reasoning for it this is another product that made me go huh <laughs> i've had a 
lot. I love beauty boxes. I love getting the surprise every month. But sometimes I just think, I paid $10 for this, or $20. I get the Ipsy, and I get the uh, Boxy Charm. What is this called? I need glasses. It's called the Wonder Lip Paint. I don't know who can put this on their lips. This stuff is crazy. Um, maybe even back when I was younger, it's this magenta purple color that just, whew, I don't even know. It's so pigmented. I could just, and it doesn't set, so I could just imagine how far it would travel and how ridiculous you actually probably would look. But you know what, maybe if I was 18, I could pull it off, but I'm not. So yeah, it's not what I'm looking for. Um, oh, another disappointing product is this Glam Eyes Liquid Eyeliner, and it has the finest little tip. It's by Rimmel, but it just would disappear on me. It just never stayed put. Um, this came in an Ipsy bag. It's the Pacifica Brown Eyeliner. This thing was so tough. I couldn't use it. I'm um, This is really cute and I have this in another color too that I can't bring myself to throw away but it's a such it's such a disappointment it's the Starlux um, gem pencil in this one is called ultra hunter and it is adorable green uh, it's really pretty but this does never sets on your eyes. It travels. Uh, I will find it all over the place except in the place where I put it and I can't, I just can't do that. I kind of have oily eyelids or I like to say they're kind of sweaty, but I just can't. I mean, ugh, kills me. Uh, where else? What else do we have? Yeah, this is another weird one. This is Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm. So it's like a felt tip pen on one end and a bomb on the other. I thought, oh, that's awesome. That'll be really nice and stay on your lips. No, it doesn't stay at all. So this is the last thing I have. It's um, from, it came from BoxyCharm. And it's the Be A Bomb, uh, it's called the One Stick. And the color is the Hotness. And it is just this bright, bright red um, cheek stain, I think. Maybe could you, I don't know what else, your lips maybe. I'm not sure, but. <sighs> When I tried to use this, holy rosacea, like who, I don't know, I mean there's no way of dulling this down or making it more subtle, like you would just look like a clown or a doll in a china shop. So that's it. Um, I hope you liked this video. I was just kind of messing around and cleaning up and I thought before I throw this stuff in the trash, um, I'd show it to you. Thank you for watching and I hope you like it. Please like, comment, subscribe or, you know, don't like it if you don't like it. Anyway, uh, take care and I'll see you again. I hope. Take care. Bye.